Hello my internet incels, and welcome back to some more GD University. The university for the $2 cube jump game. Today's episode is about the speed you travel in Geometry Dash, which will include all of the 5 different speeds. But as you may know, to calculate speed you need to divide the distance by time. Which makes this a little bit tricky, because GD is a cartoony game without any real measurements. So what we will do, is make the measurements similar to Minecraft, where one block is 1 meter, which would also make your character 1 meter high, but still taller than the shortest man in the world. Now for the calculations, but rather than letting the game run for 10 or so seconds, and then counting the blocks to find the distance, I realized it would be a lot smarter to just use smooth triggers, since they literally go a specific distance over a given time. So I created a level, and made two different blocks, the red one, which is moving the same exact speed as your character using the lock to player X, and then the blue one, which I tried to make move the same speed as the red one using trial and error. Then eventually, when the blocks move the same speed, you can see how fast you are going, by dividing the distance by the time. It should also be noted, that one unit in Geometry Dash is actually one tenth of a block, or in the case of our scale, where a block is equal to one meter, it would be ten centimeters. I then repeated this process of comparing the blue block to red block for each speed in GD. Then finally, to get the speed, we divide each value by ten, which was the amount of time traveled in each of the experiments. The final results were about 8.37, 10.38, 12.91, 15.60, and 19.20 meters per second. To put these speeds into perspective, Usain Bolt can run at a maximum speed of 12.27 meters per second, which would mean that your character, which is only about 3 feet, 4 inches tall, can travel faster than the fastest man alive at only its median speed. And at maximum speed your character travels about the speed of a car on a highway at 70 km per hour. Also, we can use this data to measure the increase in speed between each speed type, to possibly even predict how fast a 5 times speed portal would be, if Rob Top were to ever add one. And as you can see, there is about a 1.23 times increase between each speed portal. So if we continue the pattern we would get about 23.6 meters per second for the 5th speed type. That is indeed pretty speedy. Anyways, that concludes this lesson. But wait. You can't click off the video yet. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. Okay, you can go now.